This is like a special episode. We had words to get out about stuff. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, in a sense, one could say that, you know, the Will Smith slap <laughs> spawned a whole new spinoff. <laughs> Of how did we get here? Yeah. Now we now, now we can let the record show. Let the record. That's what show. we about to do tonight. That's what we about to do. We about to let the record show. Oh God. Let's start off by how it happened, right? All right, ladies first. Our Sunday tradition is pretty much the same. Our kids run us ragged all day long with their activities, and my vegan cookie company. Run us ragged. We get to the couch in our favorite position. Let's just say on a good day. Doggy style. <laughs> Let's say round six-ish. Oh, six-ish. Might be like a little... No? <laughs> Go ahead. That, that may be the lead leg. Right leg. Yeah, to the side. Right, 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 right. So... We watched Snowfall, which is Lord. We'll talk about that another time. So but anyway, this show with some colorful people on there. We'll talk about that another time. So it comes to eight o'clock, and I'm like, "Hey, babe, let's let's watch the Oscars." And so he immediately does what he always does when I want to watch something that he has no interest in. He stays near me. But he watches his own programming on his iPad. So, I was playing chess. So, anyways, we were. I was watch. I was watching the show, and I wake him up when things happened. You know, I tap him like, "Hey, babe, you see this? Look at that. So and so won." You know, <laughs> the more exciting time last night where I tried to wake him up. I was like, babe, I, I think there was like a skirt fluffle, right? And he like, huh, where, who? And I'm like, okay, let me show you. So I, you know, rewound it back, showed it to him. He literally was like, this shit fake. And went back to sleep. Because it's actors. He literally went back to sleep. At the award for actors. He was like, this shit fake. And went right back to sleep. So, I went in my investigative reporting hat on. And I went on to the, the, that internet thingy and the Twitters. I went on the Twitters, right? Okay, Grandma. And then I saw, uh, I guess it was like Australia or overseas or somewhere where they didn't have to do the bleeping out. So I got to see the full exchange. And I woke him up again. I was like, babe, I don't know if this was fake. And that actually woke him up then. Hold on, you done? Let me get mine in. No, that actually, no, I take that back. That didn't wake him up. What happened was our group chat with our other friends and stuff started blowing up. And that's what woke him up. So it wasn't even me. Okay, your time. Go ahead. Tell me what happened. All right. So, my story is better because it involves a lot of sex. You see, you don't remember that? What's that? What movie yes, is that? I there you go. That body. All right, but now, so, the first part that she said is true. I was asleep. She woke me up about some actors on the <laughs> Actor Awards show. So, I'm like, they actors. Bye. Literally, time for this. he did wave me off just you know like what I'm that. Saying? So then, I did. I do recall hearing my phone go bleep bleep or whatever. Always, like, it was blooper the dupe. Mm -hmm. But my phone does that, so I ain't think nothing of it. I was sleep, didn't put two and two together. Then, when you found the Australia footage or whatever it was, I don't know if Australia, was whatever it was, but, right. When you found that at the same time, my phone started going bleepity bleep 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 <laughs> block bleep. So you like, oh man, I'm listening to what you playing on the thing with the uh -huh. other footage, and I'm looking at my phone 
getting all the messages. Internet going crazy. Everybody going crazy. Yep. As and true. now I'm like, oh, maybe it's not. So right. now I want to see. So I'm looking at the playback, which still look kind of. I literally said, I, when I watched it, I was like, this, this is weird because I was watching it alone. So when it happened, I thought that Chris Rock was standing at a microphone stand, right? So when you hear like the, when you see it happen the first time, it's like, boom. So I was like, oh, he took his mic away. Because on our version here, it was like he did what he did and then the sound went out. So I was like, oh, he took his mic from him. But the picture, That's... did the picture go out? Huh? Did the... <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Did the picture go away too? With no, the sound? No, it, it was like a split screen. So it was like for oh. a second it went not split screen. It was like for a second there was like no sound and the camera was on Chris Rock. And then the little Oscar emblem came up and then the camera went on Will. But oh, all of it was okay, no sound. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. So I was like, oh they Gosh. took his he took his mic because he talking shit. I didn't realize, and so then I was like, wait a minute. You didn't know he got slapped. I didn't know he got slapped initially. Mm. I just thought he took his mic from him. Okay. I didn't even tell you how much pay attention I was doing. I wasn't doing that much. So, yeah. But anyways, I just found it very weird. It was awkward. It was very awkward for you to just walk. That's why I thought it was took something from him, because then you go sit down. I'm thinking if you smack somebody... Something gonna happen. Then you wait. I don't know. Something, Something gonna happen. happens. You know, when somebody smacks somebody. Something happens. I don't know. Usually, Something happens. Usually there's a reaction to the action. Yes. But there was, it was weird. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It definitely to was. grown men. It was, it was so weird. Yeah. So let's just talk about the initial like when you saw it you was like fake what fake right fake but then what but then i was like i was like fake but then i was like oh maybe not what made me think that it wasn't fake no more was when he was yelling at him but you know what's the weird thing about will smith he always, and it could just be like a defense mechanism or something, or that's just his public thing, but he's always smiling and laughing. Yeah, I think that's the defense thing. And you, so you he, have like, he was mad. Too. Yeah, he you was mad, but he was like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's what was like, wait a minute. But he upset. Yeah, but I don't Keep know. Keep my people. wife. But then the way it went down, he was yelling, Keep my wife. Name out your good mouth. Right. Who does this? Well, that's honestly, that could have been done first. Like when it happened, he could have yelled that onto Man. the stage. Instead of just walking up and smacking him, maybe yeah. he should have yelled that first. I'm pretty sure people would have Because, <sighs> you know, some people are saying he's a sucker and all that for doing it. I'm pretty sure some of that would have been taken out of it if it was like, I tried to correct his behavior. He didn't want to listen, so then I smacked him. I'm, I'm thinking that would have helped if he had yelled first. That probably I don't know. Don't know well. I don't know. It, it ain't really no way around the smack. I'm just, and then when you think about it more, the more you think about it, it's like, there's more to this story. Like, there. It's just more like it, it can't be just what he said to joke yeah, and then more. you all and then you just want to smack him. Yeah, it's more. It's got to be more to this story. You got the what was it? 2016. Oh, yeah. That that thing. That, Chris Rock was like, oh, he compared Jada uh, not coming to the Oscars to, to him. him trying to get Rihanna's panties. Yeah, and it's like, well, you wasn't invited no, anyway. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. So there's that. Yeah. Obviously, Will didn't f forget about that. But on top of all of that, he's been getting. How long have people been like Will Smith a simp? Will Smith a sucker? 
You think he ain't got wind of all of this? I mean, yeah, he does. I mean, but... And granted, that's the lifestyle. That yeah, he's a star and all he, of that. But he does what that. other star have you seen go through what he's gone through publicly? You know what I'm saying? And got the backlash that he got to the point where it was like, man, you don't really have no respect for him no more. He's a great actor. He's this, he's that. But it's like, man, he a clown. Who else, you, who else do you refer to like that? He's been wearing all of that. On top of it, he got his wife and kids out here. They all running wild. All of them. Well. They all just running wild out here. This was the house that Jack built. And, and But I'm saying he, he dealing with all of that. That's all right here on his shoulders. <laughs> he like, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. All of that. Then you got the, the entanglement. Then you got the wife coming in. Oh, yeah. You know, Will was jealous of Tupac. And we're not even going to speak on her love for Tupac, even though I just did. You know what I'm saying? That's all there. This little Chris Rock thing, because Chris Rock, truthfully, he didn't say nothing disrespectful. It he was, didn't. It was a joke. He put the feather yeah, it on was... top of that heavy pile, and that little feather was like, Wah! and Will Smith reacted emotionally. And for real, for real, he put the feather and his wife, Jada, sneezed and Will was like, <gasps> "You, see, my wife sneezed, I'm okay, coming but here's for the you. Th okay, but the other side of that is... Because he was laughing at the feather. When it initially happened, he laughed. <laughs> and she didn't... <laughs> she was looking like, nigga. And he was like, oh, yes, ma'am. Wait a minute now. On the flip side of that, Ain't you no don't know side. how yes because you don't know how long he had not been defending her so that's fine. to no i mean i get what you're but saying but that's nobody's fault but his own right but that ain't chris rock's fault it's not his that fault uh, but the he, oscars he, fault he, he was there i i mean it's not right and, and you know what honestly i feel you and, and to that to that point he was there it, i just saw two bitch niggas tonight I don't, right. I, don't, I don't mean no harm, but oh, no, don't do I hate this. to say it like that, but the the first one, let the emotions get the best of them. It happens to a lot of men and yeah. mistakes are made. But truth be told, that's bitch assness at its finest. On the flip side, Chris Rock, you can't let no man violate you. I don't care who you are. Listen, to, wait a minute now. Now, maybe, maybe they're friends. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me tell you something. It's perfect. Like he I love all my friends. But perfection. But any of them open hand smack me. Listen to me. It's going to be a rumbling friendship up in there. It's going to be some furniture moving. It's going to be some devastation. It's going to be a whole lot of, oh my God. Oh, help him. <laughs> it's going to be something going on. Other that. than, man, he ate that thing too. It was like, ah, he was like. He was, sh he was shocked. And, yeah, and you, you say that, but it, if your friend walks up on you like that, you didn't think that First that was going to happen. I, I, and, and I've been saying say this that. all day. You can say that. You're not, you, there's a certain distance of personal space that nobody is supposed to encroach upon unless oh, God. something is getting ready to happen it's just natural <laughs> okay it's just natural the only people yeah. i think would that would be able to get away with getting close enough and just smacking me while i'm looking at you and i see you coming mm -hmm. is probably my father and my sons oh you talking about men to where my guard is let down to the point where you have encroached my space and i'm just like I still don't know what's happening. Either way, here. he didn't deserve it. Pow. No, he definitely did not deserve it. He didn't deserve it. He didn't deserve it, but he deserved to open up some, some. you know, he deserved to do something. <laughs> I don't care what type of award show they ain't going to let us back in no more. I'm not worried Forget about them. that. It wasn't that. You can't me. let nobody worried. just open hand. I don't like two black men going at each other. Like, that's it's just like spit. That's almost as bad as spitting on somebody. An open hand smack? You would prefer to punch him? Yes. Really? Punch me. <laughs> Anybody out there? No. I'd rather you punch no, me than open hand not, smack me. We're not violent. 
I'm not violent. We're not choosing violence. I'm a pacifist. But if you're going to do it, give me the dignity of a fist and not an open hand. Come on. Well, I heard that most people who are like boxers, right? If they were to get get into something in the streets, right? Mm -hmm. They don't punch people because their hands are deadly weapons at that point. They smack. You know what I'm saying? They do the open hand thing. So maybe, you know, he trained for Ali. He keep up on his regimen. Maybe that's what his instincts were. Just give him a little pow. Shit, sure. Still doesn't explain. Let me tell you the Chris funniest Rock. thing. I'm not going to go down the violence anymore. Let me tell you the funniest stuff for me. Tell funniest the funny thing stuff. for me was Lapita's face. <laughs> she was behind him, Will, when he was yelling. She was like, <laughs> it was like, like anybody would be if you, you were in a car or, you know, a table next to a couple arguing and they get into it and you like, oh, oh, shit, it's real in here. It's yeah, F-bombs and some bees stuff. Yeah, flying. and you like, like yeah. yeah. You, y'all talking to each other, but y'all really listening to what's happening, like. Huh. Let me ask you this. Huh. That was so funny to me. <laughs> that was that was funny. I was about to say she the victim in all this, but she she had a good time. <laughs> she did. Oh no, that was now now now. Please it was no. It a beautiful night for her. That had been me. I'd have been like, oh my god. I'm trying to figure out right. If if you think Jada was shocked too. You know, the crazy thing is. They never put the camera on her. And I wonder why. I saw, you could kind of see her when he was yelling. I didn't. They had different views. Okay. Different angles. Okay. I never got to see it. Okay. Did she try to stop him when he went up there? That was my next question. I, we didn't get to see that either. I didn't see her move a muscle. Oh, so then she sicked him on him then. Because I don't care... Like somebody even, else said that to me. They was like her what, look at him was the cue. Maybe so, because I know that you know my husband has a fuse, a temper. Even if somebody was to come at me, and even if in my heart of hearts I wanted him to smack the shit out of the dude or hit the dude in the face, one of us has to be the rational one and be like, Bay, not here. Not here. You know what I'm saying? Out of our union. Usually usually that's the good balance of a relationship. If one of us is like on 10, the other one usually is like, all right, bae, where are we right now? The other one is a little bit more rational. So in this case, I would think if Will is on 10, then Jada would have been like, not here. This is your night. We can talk to him later. Like, don't do this. Well, because there was time. There was oh, there was plenty of time. The key word that you said was balance, and you know, rational rationality, right? Mm -hmm. You think they got that? Oh well, I don't know. Come I, on. I don't perceive to know other people's relationships. It's, I just I just say on average, that's normally how relationships work normally. Man, that 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 from the outside looking in, I don't know everything, but that just looks like a constant tug of war happening between them all the time. And so I didn't, I wouldn't expect rationality to come out when the, the balance to be there. I don't expect that, but I'm just like, man, you gotta have respect for somebody in order for there to be that balance. For you to admire and care enough to be like, nah, I don't do that. Or this ain't, come on, you got a case. Come on, baby, you got a case. Don't do this. You something, got a case pending. Something. Something's got to be there. And I've been saying this for the longest. It's something missing with her view of him. And it may be his fault. It may not be his fault. I don't know. But all I know is it's something there that ain't there from her for him I mean, now like i said it could be a result of him not being there for her 
And you know, because like, truth be it told, breeds. I think all of this is I think another part of this is him trying to overcompensate because he realizes that he has probably neglected her yeah. for all this time or not treated her the way she should have been treated or whatever the case may be. Yeah. So now he's overcompensating. Yeah, I agree. That's probably the case. He <laughs> shouldn't have done that. Let's let the record show okay. that Will Smith was wrong. Can we do that? Yes, we can we say can, that We can agree there? We can agree to that. Okay. However, I do want to caveat this. That there is has a caveat. Be... Two things can be true. Touche. He is wrong. All right. But I get it. I get what happened. Like, I... I I, you get it mean you you agree with it? No. You I get, get it, it mean like, you understand why I, it happened. I understand why it happened. The reason I don't say I understand because I don't know all the details. But I could see, based on what I know, I, I see what you're saying. And I agree. I'm like, you know what? First of all, I've been saying this. I've been saying, y'all better stop messing with Will Smith. Oh, you have said that. I've been saying that yeah. because let's be real about this situation, right? Will Smith ain't no slouch dude. You know what I'm saying? Will Smith ain't no, like, you see him and you like, oh, this is about to be a walk in the park. You know what I'm saying? So all this tough talk people be doing when they're not around him and all of that, ain't nobody doing that to him in his presence. Well, and that's another Not thing. the same energy. And that's what I was saying. It added that it's one thing to talk about her. You know, when her husband not did to do it in his face is, a you know, like it's a thing to talk about somebody behind their back. But in their face, you kind of saying. I take it a step further. I want smoke. I take it a step I further. Smoke. I think it is. I think Will Smith has an ego. And as someone on his. Level I mean, would, who most wouldn't? men do have an ego. Yeah, but what I'm saying like, is. I think he has an ego, and on top of that, Chris Rock is Chris Rock, and he probably looked at that like, "Man, look, it, you, I'm not about to let you clown me." That could have very well. You know what I'm case. saying? Like of all of all people, you ain't about to clown, not you, because for real, for real, he know that's an easy, that's a, that's taking candy from a baby. Ain't nobody scared of no Chris Rock. Ain't nobody thinking twice about him. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody worried about, you know what I'm saying? And that's what make it even worse because he smacked him. Right. On top of the fact that he's a comedian. Oh, no, it's not a comedian for me. It's two black men. It could have been any two black men. He could have slapped a janitor. I'd have been like, oh, my God. He thought twice about a janitor. (laughs) That's the point I'm making. He was, he saw Chris Rock and was like, oh, I ain't about to, not you. Even though it was funny. And that's not, that's not, that joke, well, first of all, let's be clear. The joke was not funny at all. No, it I'm saying he laughed like it was funny. Oh, okay. It was, it, it was, was corny. easy. It was a light jab. That's all it was meant to it be. It was corny as hell. It was a Chris little, Rock's it was a little, are. like, right. I don't find him funny at all. Let's be clear. Like, there's nothing funny about him. I, I've seen his stand-ups. To you. There's millions of people that find Chris Rock funny. Yeah, the most of them don't look like me, though. That's not true. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. But, like I said, he a comedian. Yeah, he tried to be funny. He a comedian. He has made his living as a comedian. He's made his living as a zebra. He is the best zebra I know. And she was the hippo she in that sure same was. zebra movie. She sure was. And they made multiple movies. I know. And so she they got get up to there be friends. Get, get up. No, they might not be. He may have said something on set that had been stewing, and she went home and told Will about it back then. As we do. And she was like, you know, I don't like that little crusty mother lover. I just don't like him. You I think he's funny? He, he not. He not. And Will probably was like, don't it. even worry about it. Go in there, do your job, whatever, whatever. You want me to rub your feet? What you need from me, baby? He don't sit on there and rub my feet. <laughs> Silk. Simp, simp. Why that got to be a simp? That's his wife. Don't do that. So now anything you do to cater to your wife is simp. He is simp. To his wife? He should have been doing it. Don't try to don't try to simp up now because you've been messing up. Well, I mean, so what he's supposed to do? Just not fix it? Man, he's supposed to just be like, look. Because nobody perfect. You for the streets. Right. 
You want to be out there, go on out there. She might come back. She might not. But you just got to take that L. He did. They he did. Took that they L. took the break. That's why he was with August. But then, you know. He wasn't aware of that. He he said he was. He wasn't aware of that. I don't know why. Well, yeah, it sounds better. Never mind. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> we don't want to do that. It's wanna, March. We ain't going to go to August. Right. I'm not going to talk about August. Although it is my favorite month. But it is neither here nor there. Yeah, that's, that's <sighs> But like I said. Let's let the record show Will Smith was wrong. But was Chris Rock wrong or right? For doing that? In his how he reacted. He was extremely professional. I'll say that. So often I think about like if I was a, a mogul, right? And this was my award show that I made. Okay. I was about to say, you are a mogul you, in the making. I'm yeah. So like right. if that was... Uh, okay. Prop my specific. lady up. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do it over here. <laughs> so you know I'm, I'm thinking like if I was the producer on that show. If uh, I was a producer on that show, I would want Chris Rock to handle it like that. I, You know, I would want you to keep the show moving. And he thought about it. So he was like, man, you could tell he was like, man, I could go in right now. I could ruin your whole little, but I ain't going to do that. He did. But I, I would mean, have. I would like, all right, cool. Everybody ain't a liquid. fighter. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, but, you, but but I'm about to go words. in my bag. Yeah, I'm, yeah. This is my wheelhouse. This is what you wanted? I I took a little light jab and it wasn't even a jab. It was really a little, I'm going to point out the elephant in the room type of thing. Right. But now I'm about to get it in. You know what I'm saying? Like he could have simply been like, damn, Will, slap me like I'm August. Right. I mean, he could have went there. That would have been actually good, but long as he kept my show going. He couldn't do that because the show wasn't going to keep going then. Will would have been back up on that stage. <laughs> no. Will would keep my... <laughs> <laughs> Will would His head would have exploded. If he did, he if he did it, he would have been attack. like... <laughs> <laughs> he may have had a heart attack or something. It would have been over. But yeah. All right. He was a professional. Was, was a he professional? right or wrong? For how he handled it? Yep. Oh, I don't know about that right or wrong I just know that he handled it how I would want him to handle it if it was my show okay what if Chris Rock okay was your your man I don't know <laughs> am I still the producer of the show and no. and he my man or no. is it one or the other you just, he just your man hmm. see here's the thing what's the thing I'm a I think maybe I need to look up the definition first before I say this out loud. But I think I'm a fan of toxic masculinity. I think I'm a fan of it. What they deem toxic masculinity. Yeah. It's the, not really toxic. Yeah. It's I, just masculinity. Right. Of men being men. So me watching my man get slapped and him eating it. Eating it and nothing happening. Nothing. No, like even like what you say, I would even take the whole Damn, nigga, I'm not August. I would have even right. took that. Because that's more of his wheelhouse. We don't know Chris Rock as a physical yeah, yeah, yeah. guy. But we know he going to say something. Yeah. And he so ain't say nothing, nothing really. Really. He just kind of kept it moving, which was good. But, you know, as seeing my man up there, I'd have been like, it, it may have been me that said it. You know, if you in the crowd sticking up for your man. Oh, uh. I you may have been like, my man like, like he was August. August or something. You ain't do that to him. Yeah, or something petty because women are petty. Like, <laughs> then, then at that point, it's going to get ugly too because the women get involved. It always goes bad. But it would it would make me want to say something slick out my mouth yeah, or something. I'm, I'm, I'm with Shannon there, Shaw. There was a video I saw of, and it happened like months ago, Somewhere in D.C., a club flooded, right? And there was a there was a girl and a guy. The guy was trying to help this girl get across. He was the struggling. Water. Or he was struggling right? to get her, right? Yeah. Struggling, and they ended up going under the water, and it got worse. And the more he pulled, the more she went under. It was awful. And then a this real big man nigga came up. out of nowhere and just threw her on his back and walked off. I'm, I'm not sure who she left with, she, but it he might as well just kept on walking with. Her. <laughs> but she probably due to the water. He should have just. 
and just <laughs> drowned in it. Just and so lay, <laughs> lay him down in that water. So, you feel like that was Chris Rock? As that's how I felt. I, that's how I would have felt as his woman. Mm. And that's like that scenario kind of describes how I would have felt if him just eating it as his woman. I'd have been like, so you just not gonna rescue me? You gonna let him disrespect us like that? Yeah, you can't let you gotta. You gonna let you gotta be, disrespect well, us? I got it. Back up. Right. Even <laughs> <laughs> she all right? She drowning. Yeah, <laughs> she all right. Her little wig will be fine. I get her a new one. Get your small ass back on the sidewalk. We got this. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's only fair. Yeah, you can't. And so I think that's, you know, in this day and age, that may be considered toxic. Toxic. That I would want my man to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because essentially, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, of being nice to people and kindness and all that bullshit, it's not good for him to, you know, do go tip for tat for somebody. But I'm like, nigga, you just gonna let them talk to us like that? That's what you're gonna let him? You gonna let him hit us? Cause we married, that we're one. So you hit him, that was us. Got kids too. And kids. I just. I mean, I mean, don't get What if me that wrong. was your daughter's husband? something i don't know i would go off on a tangent i go i do that when i look you know go off my deep end and oh I'm if, mad. if chris rock was the daughter's uh, uh-huh your daughter's husband didn't got smacked and just man was it's tough because i mean it's not tough not for real <laughs> but you know it's a it's a it's a dicey situation because i I get you want to be professional. Yeah, I do. That's you know what, what I said. But to me, this was a situation. This situation was like the cousin to Terry Crews' situation, where the guy fondled him and he did nothing. It's different, and it's that's why different. I said it's like the cousin. Right, right, right. But it's still as a man. That's a little. You can't let somebody violate you. Period. You can't just. And it's not to say that you say it shit. can't happen. You just can't let it go down and just be like. And as a woman, y'all get into it. You're going to be like, you want me to call Will Smith? Oh. See what I'm saying? That's where we would go. That's the pettiness coming out. We would be like. <laughs> He'll be like, Will Smith here. <laughs> <laughs> so. Man, you can't, man. Then go turn around and apologize to him in a little written thing. That's why it makes me feel like there's more to the story. Like, other than just the initial things. They're probably some other friends. Shit. There's some other shit that we don't know about. Um, some other petty stuff. Um, maybe he tried to fuck Jada at one point in time. Something. Oh, oh no. Nah. It's something. Nah. Because I, I just it's, think it's a lot of he, lost, he lost it. No, it's a lot of sensitive feelings and things. Niggas be getting sensitive. Yeah, but this, this, about was, it. this was extra sensitive. Of all the people. And she didn't even stop him, which it, makes me feel like it's something more. Like, she wanted him to do it. And that's... Don't nobody want to say nothing bad about Jada? And I get it, because in the beginning, it was like, oh, man, this is our representation right here. This is black excellence. Will and Jada. All right, they ain't going to say nothing disparaging, but... Okay, one time. All right, well, that that's a little distasteful, but all right, we still ain't going to say nothing. Okay, the second thing happened. Third thing. It's been countless moments and times where Jada has shown that she ain't nobody worthy of upholding. So, hey, I ain't going to tear down a black woman publicly. You better not. Even though I'm doing it on here. I'm about to say, you better take but, it back. We don't talk about it, and so, and this is my beef. My What's your only beef? Thing I'm having. We can't talk about this in mixed company. Oh I no, just, we with the family right here. This ain't oh, mixed company. Oh, okay. This ain't mixed company. We in like, house. I don't like to talk about settling. this with with mixed company at yeah, all. Yeah, I don't yeah. like it. There's things but I nah, don't man, say. But no, man, Jada for the streets. It's it's that simple. Jada for the streets. He he trying to. He been trying to contain her. She don't want to be contained. What about him? What about him? He's the man. Man up, nigga. Come on. You say that, you know what I'm saying, but you don't know. And she has let's let's be clear. I believe she has sacrificed a lot to be with him. Sure, from her perspective. 
I mean, that's what perspective that matters. Sure, but as a man, you can't force somebody to be something that they're not. So you got to recognize, you know what? This ain't what I want. He came into the relationship with a more traditional background, like I want a wife, have kids, whoop de whoop, wop de wop, la di da di da, and he's on record saying, "Oh, she changed all of that for me. She made me see it from a whole different way." This is that is simp behavior. It is not okay. Wait a minute now. It is just because she had an influence on him doesn't mean it was a negative influence. Why is negative? Because look at them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the whole house is in disarray. The house is on fire. I mean, sure. I don't know. I'm not. They got all the money to put it out. Kudos. But you know what? They can keep all that. They can keep all of that. They keep all what? They can keep all of that. All the what? I'll be all right. I'll get to my M's and my P's, fam. <laughs> this is why I don't watch shows with him. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. Like I said. Y'all need to check out Top Boys. It's a good show. But in a bit, in a bit. You guys are so crazy. <laughs> you don't understand. So much so that I can't watch episodes with him. Like I'm halfway ready to let him watch on his own. But nah, I, I just think that, you know, outside looking at it, it's easy to say, you know, oh, this is my opinion on it. And I take that into account. But it is what it is, man. He had an emotional moment and... He, you know, he showed his tail to the world, but it's not uncharacteristic in my mind. Why he smacked somebody before? He has. Who? The little reporter that kissed the, him. He ki now you don't. <laughs> now that's ridiculous. You, you asked me if he smacked somebody before. Well, I didn't mean it like that. Well, I you mean know what? unwarranted. Back then it was a little. I, it was unwarranted. I'm just I, saying. I said, has he has he smacked? someone who didn't deserve it. He should have done a little more to that reporter. For real, for real. All I'm saying is, he's always, to me, he's always been a little not irrational, but you can all, you, you can, it was always something there with him that's like it always translated into his art though. Like he would go the extra mile trying to be overly funny. Or overly goofy or overly cool. I mean, that's, he was just a he an extra nigga. I mean, that's, that's what it, and that's what I'm saying. He had an extra nigga moment. Oh, it just manif and It then, usually doesn't manifest in real life, and, and it on, did tonight. But then, I'm pretty sure it did manifested in that house that they've been built plenty of times. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Which is probably why she was like this, unbothered, unfazed. Well, I mean, you know who you married. And then, you know I mean, that is the case, too. But I just can't imagine myself being like, yeah, baby, do what you do. Yeah, we on TV and stuff. And I'm in the ball gown. But, yeah, go act the ass. And you in the three-piece tuxedo. But, yeah, go act the ass. It's cool. I mean, he smacked I him, can't imagine. turned his back, and then yeah, that's, fixed the tuxedo. That's why I was like, dang, you bold. You smack somebody and just walk off. And turn you, your back. But you thought you just think nothing gonna happen. You bold. It was just weird. That's it the only was very word. Weird. That's the only word I can describe. It was just weird. Yeah. I've never seen a, a grown man encounter like that. Now my sons, they are very uh, sensitive. They can be sensitive. You know, when somebody talk about their toys or something, they can get. And my youngest son, he's really, he can get physical when stuff's not going his way. So he'll swing. I don't know if I've ever seen him swing and walk off, though. Well, he don't have that, that, where was, but he, now he, but, he swinging, he like, now nah, what's up? Yeah, he do. Yeah. He want to smoke. So he'll be like, yeah. hey, nigga, I hit you. Now yeah. what you gonna do about it? He not gonna say that. But, but that's, that's how, how he, he carry it, though. Yeah, so. that's true. He is, yeah. So that wasn't the type of energy we were Yeah, had, and I think that's what made it weird for me because I'm normally used to somebody when they square up with somebody, they like, bam. What's now up? what? Yeah. Yeah. And he almost it was almost like a I don't know. He smacked him. If something <laughs> happened like that, you go it's gonna be some fisticuffs. It doesn't have to be though. It doesn't have to be fisticuffs. I would have been okay with him saying something slick. Like I said, I'm with I'm with Shannon Shop. 
My man was like, he smacked me. I'd have whipped Will Smith's ass that <laughs> He said, I'd have came up out that Tom Ford or whatever kind of suit it was. It ended up being on board. He said, I may not win, but I, he may beat me. I may beat him. Whatever it is. But you're not just going to smack me. And that's the point. And there's different men for that, like you said. <laughs> you just sat here and said Chris Rock is not about that that's life. That's true. That's not really in his real life. something lives. like, you know, slick out his mouth. Man, Brooklyn took an L tonight or last night. Oh, he from Brooklyn? Don't seem like it, but yeah, I guess. Oh. Yeah. I never knew where he was from. I don't know why I was going to say Chicago or something. Nah, nah. I ain't know, honestly. I knew he was from New York, but I ain't know what borough or whatever. Oh, okay. I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's from Brooklyn. Why people do that, though? Like when they, uh, when somebody say, because I watched something on the internet today. They were like going that going to different people. I think it was Deion Sanders Instagram, mm-hmm. and it was like, "What you what have you done?" And Will Smith snacked you, mm-hmm. right? And different people were responding like, "Oh, it couldn't be me," or da 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 da. Mm-hmm. And one person was like, "Man, I'm from Miami," and I was like, "Okay, what what does that mean?" Oh, you know, but people say that when you be like, "Man, what what somebody did to you?" I'm from Southeast. You know, you just say that. What does that mean, though, when you say that? I mean, I guess they're supposed to be that. We, we tough around here. We, do you know how we get down or something? You know what okay. I would have done? I'd have been like a uh, main man from Shane. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh. Yep. <laughs> then I, after, the, after the come ups I'd have looked over and been like, we rich, baby. I know. Like, <laughs> we made it. <laughs> I like it. And then I gotta be like, ah, my baby, my husband, yep, yep, I've been, my husband, call. I'd have been going through rigor mortis. <laughs> <laughs> call the ambulance. Been like, call the ambulance somebody now. Get this fool now. Call him. Nah, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, I ain't the baddest mofo out here, and it's some people that. I know, I don't know them, but I know it's somebody out here that I don't want to smoke with. Yeah. But if they smack me, <laughs> you they, see that day. if they try to smack me, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so odd that he was able to come into his space well, like well, that. because you don't expect that from him. Because of where y'all are yeah, and what's going on. Yeah, you don't Still. expect that. He Still. thought, I'm You don't honest, know what to expect. I'm somebody honest. coming in your space? And literally. And you just cracked a joke about his bald head wife. I know, but listen to me. Literally, just like I said at the beginning, I was like, oh, he, he took his mic away. Like, I thought it was something playful. I thought like, it was scripted. Because it was some, something you would expect from him. I, now I got him walking up and taking his mic away or something. That's right, something right, I got right, Will right, doing. Right, right. Not smacking somebody. Not and smacking. I'm pretty sure Chris Rock felt the same way. Like, nah. I'm sure. Somebody comes up on a stage after you didn't say something about their wife, no matter who it is, you're going to be like, man, what you doing? Chris Rock leaned in and was like. Because listen, babe. He leaned in. He didn't think he was going to do anything. He, he better think twice next time. Yeah, he will. I'm pretty sure he will. And that's on. what Will Smith was like. If you don't know, now you know. Ah, oh, poor guy. He took over. The last impactful smack was the Nipsey smack, the marathon smack. Remember, he, he <laughs> smacked that dude up outside the award show? That was the smack that was heard across the nation. Uh-oh. The victory slap. You know how <laughs> You know how they, they do, like, big events for each month of the year? Ooh. Like, um... Holidays? Blog sites and stuff. They do like, what's the big event that happened this year? They keep in oh, track. Oh, okay. So January was um, Antonio Brown. Okay. Who was February? Kanye West. What'd he do? What didn't he do? He was lunching all on social media and oh, okay. having his thing. He always lunching, so that's why I was like. I know, but, you know, it, was but it, lot, was it was a lot. It was a lot. Okay. And then March. And this is March. And all my black men are losing their damn mind. Well, that's what we keep track of. Let's be clear. I Niggas lose other... their mind every day, B. They do. But it just look, you know. It don't look like nothing. It, it happens. Looked, it wasn't going on in 2020. It happens. Niggas was on quarantine in 2020. Man, 
that was funny. Was so much so, we were so busy looking on the Twitters and stuff. We missed Questlove's uh, acceptance speech. I know. We missed that. His whole thing, that slap took away every the moment for everybody. Everything. Anybody that Two won guys, last night, it's over. It's over. Yeah. Yeah, I, that was that was so crazy. It's a wrap. That's messed that up. That was the only thing that everybody going to remember about this. Uh, it, yeah. it even, and the sad thing about it was, he finally got his Oscar. But don't nobody give a shit. Not for real. Yeah. They talking about it's um, over he might not be able to come. Because, you know, when you win, you're supposed to come back the following year and present the next person. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and they, pro- they talking about he probably won't be able to do that. Because, you know, their whole thing is supposed to be nonviolent and Whatever. yada, yada, yada. And they like, yeah, he might not get. I'm like, that nigga wasn't coming back anyway. They, 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 the only reason they were showing up was to help them. Because they knew, like, all right, unless he had a chance at winning. Other than that, they wasn't going. Well, well, they don't care. At least he got his Oscar. Yeah. Bottom line is, they owed him it. Yeah. Bottom line is, you know, don't mess with August Alcina. <laughs> don't mess with August Alcina. Yeah, that was that was the moral of the story. Don't mess with August Alcina. Yeah, that wasn't what happened. Huh? Cause Jada did. Yeah, like that's the that's the moral of the story. <sighs> If you do that, your husband will end up smacking somebody on national TV. Then. I just summed everything up. What she said. <laughs>